Good morning, Warrior. I'm Brandon Winstead. And I'm Kennedy Banks. And, and welcome, welcome to WeTV. We Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Whittier Wildcat Pledge. Ready, begin. I am a Whittier Scholar. I am respectful. I am responsible. I am safe. I always do my best and I strive for excellence. Thank you. You may be seated. Happy New Year. Welcome back, Wildcats. We're just about halfway through the school year. This year has been going by so fast. Yeah, this year has been going by so fast. I can't believe I'm halfway through fifth grade. Yes, I know. Let's keep working hard to make this half of the school year fantastic. Speaking of New Year's, let's talk about this day in history. In 1907, the New Year's Eve's ball made its maiden descent from the flagpole atop. One Times Square, seven versions of the ball has been designed to signal the new year. Wow, that's so cool. Didn't, I never knew that. It was cool watching the ball drop this past new year, Steve. Yeah, it was. Moving on, let's check up on our STEM professor, Professor F F Fizzy Fingers. Hello kids, Professor Fizzy Fingers here. I just wanted to check up with you and see how you're doing with your STEAM Expo ideas. I was talking to my friend Gaston here and he's already started his project. Gaston, what are you doing? Thanks, Professor. For my project, I'm going to take apart this keyboard and see what it looks like on the inside. That's great! You can learn a lot about science and engineering by taking something apart. Just remember, you need to document everything and then do some research to find out what the part does. What that means is you'll probably have some kind of a notebook where you write down everything you do. And when you find out what a, when you find a part, do some research and figure out what exactly that part does in the thing that you're taking apart. Okay, I'll for sure remember to do that. Perfect. Also remember that if you are performing reverse engineering, that means taking apart something to see how it works. Make sure it's something that your mom says is okay to take apart. Yeah, I wanted to take my TV apart, but my mom said, got mad and said no. That's good. If you took our TV apart, you might, be, you might not be able to put it back together again. Then you couldn't watch cool science videos. Oh, my favorite show, Barney. He's so cool. <laughs> That's a good one, Gaston. I like Barney too. He's pretty funny. Well, for those of you out there planning on participating, you should probably have your science fair ideas decided upon by now and you should be working hard on them. Yeah, I am. Thanks, P Professor. Perfect. Well, before I sign off, I want to do an experiment with you. You need a jar of water. It can be a jar or it can be a water bottle, just as long as you can see through it. If I look through this, I can see through it. You're also going to need a piece of paper that has two arrows on it, one going to the right and one going to the left. Okay, now, in order to make this project work, what you need to do is you take the arrows and pay close attention. The top one's going one way, the bottom one's going the other way. And when you place it behind the jar, something very magical happens. Can you tell what's happening? The arrows change directions. That's right, super cool. So what exactly is going on? We learned that refraction occurs 
because light bends when it passes through substances, such as water or plastic. Light bends, isn't that cool? Kind of like Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. As the light travels through a substance, it becomes concentrated into a focal point. So it travels and hits a certain point. After light passes through that focal point, the rays crisscross each other and cause the image to appear reversed. It really doesn't reverse. It's still pointing the right direction. They just look like they're going different directions. Turns out, you can't believe your eyes after all. Wow, that's very cool, Professor. It sure is. Well, I'm out of time. So just remember, keep working hard on your STEAM ideas. Have a great day, and remember, science is everywhere. So keep calm and science on. That's so cool. You can reverse engineer anything. Some students at another school decided that they wanted to reverse engineer this broken finch robot. They glued the parts to the board and labeled what they all were. That looks fun. Good luck on your projects. Now let's move on to Mrs. Friday and her announcement. Good morning, Whittier World. This is Miss Friday. Hey, I have a couple of exciting announcements for you. At lunchtime, um, on Let's see, Wednesday, fourth and fifth graders, we're going to start setting up some interview murals for you to come out. You're gonna eat lunch and then you're gonna come out to um, myself or the PE teachers, so for some fun activities. That's on Wednesday. On Thursday, we're gonna have fourth and fifth graders doing some yoga over in room 52. So you eat your lunch and then you can you come over to room 52 and we're gonna do some yoga as well as fourth and fifth grade. Still gonna have that lunch lounge on Friday for for you first, second, and third graders on Tuesday, we are going to set up yoga over in room 52 next door to the PE room. You can eat your lunch, and if you would like to join me, I will be down in room 52 for some fun yoga activities. So come and join me on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Have a great day. Thanks, Mrs. Friday, for the announcement. Let's move on to the survival skill of the month. Step one, identify what is making you angry. Step two, recognize what behavior, behaviors that show you are getting angry. Step three, take a deep breath. And step four, take a few minutes to cool off. It's no fun being angry. So do your best with this month's survival skill if you are feeling angry. Well, that wraps up today's broadcast. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching We TV. Have, Have a fantastic, fantastic day. Enjoy what's up with your coming up right now. now. <laughs>